All right, Lillian, thanks so much. Chief Meteorologist Ashley Gann is back with us live from Talladega Super Speedway. Ashley, you've got a look at the forecast tonight. You've got a prime spot there for the race this weekend. Uh, it's awesome. If only I could stay right here all the way through Sunday, wouldn't that be awesome? We're right here at Victory Lane and you know what? Some of the cars are starting to line up doing those qualifying laps right now. It's a busy day here on the track and I will say with the cloud cover moving in, it's not quite as hot as it was yesterday, which I know a lot of folks are very thankful for. It's made it for a very comfortable day. So let's get right to that forecast and talk about the rain chances that will be increasing overnight tonight. First, we'll start with a live look from our storm team tower. Cam. This in Birmingham. We're looking from the BJCC over the Magic City right now. Temperatures are currently sitting at 75 degrees with winds out of the south. Across the map, temperatures right now comfortable and anywhere from the low to mid 70s from 70 in Coleman to 74 in Alabaster. But that area of low pressure back to our west has an associated cold front with it and that cold front's what's going to be swinging through Alabama overnight tonight. Rainfall is knocking on our back door lifting through North Mississippi right now. That's creating some thunder storms, but fortunately no severe weather is expected at this time. Could have some lightning with this, especially in those initial storms that move into northwest Alabama between about six to seven o'clock tonight. But I think as sun as the sun sets, the not only will the uh, thunderstorms dissipate, but it turns into more of a rain event. Eight to nine o'clock from Coleman to Birmingham by 11 p.m. East Alabama. That's when you're going to see a bit more of that wet weather. It's going to be closer to midnight tonight in Talladega. And that rain should stick around through around 1 to 2 a.m. Pockets of rain thinning out by 3 to 4 o'clock. And then it looks like we're all clear by the time the sun comes up Saturday morning. And it's going to be a nice start to the weekend. Here's a breakdown of your Saturday forecast. Your morning temperatures expected to be in the mid 50s, followed by low to mid 60s by 11 a.m. As we move to the afternoon, the second half of the day, temperatures will be in the low 70s with ample sunshine. It's going to be a beautiful start to the weekend after tonight's rain, of course. Lots of events going on across central Alabama. Maybe tonight you're going to be heading out to the Bulls game. That will be at the Publix uh, at Pelham Civic Center and that is going to be uh, 7 o'clock is when the puck drops. 70s for the start of that. But Geico 500 on Sunday is going to be cool for an April race, but we'll take it. Upper 60s to low 70s as the green flag drops as the race finishes. 59. Football's in the air as well. You've got 8A on Saturday. Temperatures will be at 70 at noon. 74 by 4 p.m. And as we look ahead to other football games going on, the Stallions are playing as well. And that game will be at 6 o'clock at Protective Stadium. 70 for that kickoff, 60s by the final whistle. So all in all, sunshine's back for the weekend. Sunday morning will be cooler in the low to mid 40s from 45 in Hamilton to 46 in Birmingham. Afternoon highs Sunday only in the mid to upper 60s to low 70s. As we look ahead to next week, it looks like things are going to get cool for us. Look at these morning lows over the next 14 days. Boy, staying a bit cool in the weekend and we could see another punch of colder air by next weekend. So we'll be keeping a close watch on that. As for this weekend, tonight's rain clears out, sun shines back, cooler, and then morning lows will be back in the 40s Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday morning. Temperatures will be mild in the 70s by the end of next week, but there is another chance of rain building back in starting late Tuesday into Wednesday. But for now, over the next week, no severe weather is expected. And the good news here at the track, I don't think rain is going to disrupt any of the race plans, but fans may have to deal with a little wet weather overnight tonight. And that is a look at your storm team seven day forecast. We'll send it back to you. All right, as Ashley just mentioned, the